Hey everybody, my name is John from Community Life Church and this is Meals Ready to Eat from the Bible. We would really appreciate a like and subscribe. Hello, today's episode is Jesus knows exactly who you are, who I am, and that does not scare him. Jesus takes us to a place where our faith can grow and he goes along with us. So we're going to take a look today at Mark chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. We're going to meet a very, very interesting person, a very colorful person. And we're going to see just how exactly Jesus reacts to this person that we may not want anything to do with. So let me just pop this uh, scripture up on the screen here. Take a look at it. <clears throat> so let's read through this. This is Mark chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. They came to the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gerasenes. This is just after that Jesus calmed the storm. When he got out of the boat, immediately, immediately, a man from the tombs with an unclean spirit met him. And he had his dwellings among the tombs, and no one was able to bind him anymore, even with the chain, because he had often been bound with shackles and chains. The chains had been, chains had been torn apart by him, and the shackles broken in pieces, and no one was strong enough to subdue him. Constantly, day and night, he was screaming among the tombs and in the mountains, gashing himself with stones. Seeing Jesus from a distance, he ran up and bowed down before him. Actually, I went to verse 6 on that. So if you go into one of the other Gospels, I think it was Matthew, you'll see the man was also unclothed, he was naked. So it must have been kind of a uh, unappealing sight, a very scary sight to see this guy running up to them and screeching and spitting on them and cut from the stones, no clothes on, chains hanging off of him. And the followers, Jesus' followers must have been, what are we doing here? So let's just see how Jesus reacted and how he wants you and me to react. So Jesus' followers had just gone through the storm with him, which Jesus slept through most of and didn't help him in the boat or anything. And now finally they get to the place where Jesus wants them to be. This is the place that Jesus picked out just for, for them. <clears throat> so what were they thinking? They were probably looking forward to something big or comfortable, maybe a nice meal, place to sit down and relax after the big storm. But what they saw was the last thing they could have imagined. It was a naked man with chains on him that were all ripped up. He was screaming and yelling and spitting at everyone, even Jesus. So why would Jesus go through the storm and bring them with him just for this? What was he doing? This is the kind of person that should be avoided. Certainly I would avoid him. And verse 5, you see a very colorful picture of what this man was like, screaming and yelling all day and night. He was a curse to the people of the village. <laughs> Excuse me. And they all just wanted him silenced and to go away. That's how his neighbors reacted. And But this was the person that Jesus crossed the stormy, stormy sea to talk to, and he brings us along with him. So why, why, why is Jesus doing this? Well, he's not like us, but he wants us to be like him. He wants this man that nobody else wants to be part of his followers. To our modern ears, this sounds kind of odd. We are not told, we are told not to look at ourselves as, as, as to see us as we are, but to see us the way we want to be seen. We're always told don't you know, who, who do you want to be is, is very important. Jesus, on the other hand, sees us exactly as we are. He is God and knows everything after all, so there's nothing we can hide from him. But no matter what we are and how we act, he still pursues each of us. It's very important. He still pursues you and me. He still pursues this man just like he's pursuing us. He still gives each of us an opportunity or many opportunities, in fact, to be saved and become followers of him. We saw this in Mark chapter 4. The seed is sown on all sorts of different soil that we don't think can grow anything, well, except for the fertile soil. But I may think that I am fertile soil and will produce fruit. Jesus then will say to me, no, no, you're thorns, for example. But he will sow the seed on me anyway, and he'll sow the seed on you anyway, along with the words, be careful what you listen to. And that's in Mark chapter 4, verse 3, and 9, and 24. So take a look at Mark four and read those three verses you see jesus is telling us be careful what you listen to be in control of what you listen to so while i may look why i may be rocky soil and look like rocky and fertile soil i can still produce fruit by listening to the words of jesus and becoming his follower just like this guy did to us he's rocky and fertile thorny soil that can produce nothing jesus shows up and now he's a productive person a good member of society we'll see that next week when we talk about continue our study of verse five so it's the same for this man jesus went across the sea through a storm to sow the words of the gospel on him and the man listened and we have to listen too so that's what jesus means by be careful what you listen to you get to choose what you listen to and the outcome and the outcome of 
by what we hear and what we learn. All right. Thank you. See you next week. Thanks for watching. You can join us Sunday morning, 1030 at 20 West Main Street, Catskill, New York. Can't make it? You can stream our services live on YouTube or Facebook, which you can find on our web at clchurch.cc. That's clchurch.cc. Don't forget to follow us throughout the week for devotions and times of sharing from leaders and staff. Leave a comment, leave a like, whatever you want. And thanks once again.